white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say, that, I just that said that you weren't a racist. Yes. That is complete no, You don't yes. have to intend racism no, to No, no, no. You are it. intending that Your I am racist. Your disrespect of Kamala and Harris that is, is part and parcel. So there you have it. Things got testy. Whether you agree with one or the other doesn't matter. Things got a little bit testy. But, but according to Nancy Mace, it seems like the two exchanged text messages uh, after that exchange that were a lot less testy. In fact, they were a little, dare we say, flirty. So let's look at the text messages here. Um, it is a photo uh, shared by Michael Eric Dyson with the bubble on the right is Nancy Mace, a photo of them together that seems like it's taken in the CNN lobby. Um, and it says, Shh, don't tell anybody we look good together. Laughy face, kissy face. Um, then she responds, ha, 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 ha. And then he responds, well, your gorgeousness makes the photos. So there's that winky face. A little thirsty, are we, Professor? Um, <laughs> and then finally, uh, Nancy Mace just had to sort of go completely, um, you know, finish the guy uh, on X and put a put this, publish this video of him actually asking for yet another photo with Nancy Mace before the CNN panel began. She tweeted this out: Michael Eric Dyson caught in 4K, um, and then here is the video. I love Wesley. I want to come back to you. I want to uh, bring you a story about Michael Eric Dyson, their race grifting professor at Vanderbilt University. Back about uh, 10 days ago or so, I think it was, uh, Michael Eric Dyson and Nancy Mace, a representative of South Carolina, were on CNN together. And uh, Nancy Mace either would not or could not, I don't know which, but uh, would not, I, I guess it's probably more more likely, pronounce Kamala Harris's name the way they wanted it pronounced, the, the, the way that apparently she does it. Now, we all know <laughs> there, are, there are so many people, white, black, whatever, that have mispronounced her name. But again, if you're white, oh my God, you must be racist because she black. She a black woman this week. But she could not or would not pronounce names. So Michael Eric Dyson basically called her a white supremacist, basically. And then after the show, you know, he, um, yeah, something kind of came up for for. Michael Claire does, and he, he um, maybe literally, you know, because he found Nancy Mays to be quite tra attractive. Anyways, guys, watch this. Uh, chair recognizes the gentlelady from South Carolina, Ms. Mays. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my colleagues across the aisle said that those that, that cannot pronounce Kamala's name correctly are elementary aged children. I would like to enter into the record an article by Newsweek saying Bill Clinton pronounces Kamala Harris' name wrong during DNC speech. Bill Clinton, along with Al Sharpton, rapper Lil Jon, let's not forget that Joe Biden can't say her name right, neither can Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, and this morning on Morning Joe, Joan Bias called her a camel. So I don't want to hear it. It's fake outrage. I would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson, after my CNN interview, begged me for photos. In this text, he says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody we look good together, and sent me a kissy emoji. Without then objection. The guy, the guy says, order. I'm gorgeous in all these photos. I don't think he's that bent out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or the, one or the other. Yeah, so I want you the picture and the message. That, um, that Michael Eric Dustin sent to Nancy Mace. <laughs> and again, man, you can't be doing that. What's wrong with you, man? You can't be doing that. You know, it gets me. You, you have men that are supposed to be intelligent. You know, and, and they fall apart. Every damn time a beautiful woman is around. They fall apart. Like they haven't overcome nothing. 
They still like the same way they did with the oops at Google. And truly. And, uh, you know, it, it's sad to see. It really is. But people like Bob, Mike Larry tell us, man, they're not smart guys. They're not. Because as soon as they're, um, they're presented with with any kind of evidence, data, whatever, mm-hmm. they fall apart. They fall apart. And they fall apart whenever there's somebody they like or they think looks good or whatever. Ooh, girl, you look good. Sitting over there. I mean, again, can you imagine Mike Larry Dustin, his wife? <laughs> I thought you didn't like them white people. I thought you didn't like them white girls. I'm still bunnies. I thought you didn't like them. Oh, no, baby. No one. Only like you. Only like that round black ass. Only you, baby. <laughs> or, or Nancy Mason's husband. Hey, Phil, what you doing, man? You can't be hitting on my wife like that. See, see, guys, see what happens? The white man, he don't like anybody talking to his wife. Yeah. It's because I'm black. No. This right here, see, text message and the picture that Mike Larry Dyson sent to Nancy Mace. And uh, through text, she put this on Twitter and put it out there. But uh, he said, shh, don't tell anybody. We look good together. And then Levy and a kissy emoji. <laughs> and she wrote, she posted, ah, back to it. And let me scroll down just a little bit. And... Um, he said, well, your gorgeousness makes a picture or whatever. Now, I'm going to put him up in a second. So, he, you know, saying this. So, you guys can hear directly from Mike Larry Dyson. But um, <laughs> here, oh, I love this. Here's a picture that Nancy made. <laughs> Nancy made put up of Bill Lid. Yeah. And that's Mike Larry Dyson, of course. And his hand around. Um, Nancy Mace. I mean, again, guys, I mean, it's this right here. I'm sorry, but I mean, creepy. <laughs> it truly is. And again, I take it for guys all the time because really women nowadays, I mean, they, they, they cause so much crap. They really, truly do. Uh, but in this case right here, yeah. You know, this right here with Michael Lard Dyson. This was him. But let me stick up a clip man, of, of, of him talking about this. And you can hear from his own words. Watch this. Friends, Michael Eric Dyson here. I uh, just want to clear something up. Uh, a vicious untruth and rumor that's being spread by Congresswoman Nancy Mace claiming I was trying to hit on her. So I'm trying to figure this out. So this is our complete text exchange that she says proves I was trying to hit on her. Um, We were on CNN together. She was vicious. She was nasty. She refused to call Kamala Harris by her right name. We had a bitter exchange about that. She claims uh, in the interview that I called her racist when I went out of my way to say she wasn't a racist. I said, you're a wonderful woman. Um, But let me say this to you, because I know you probably didn't understand this or mean it, but when you call Kamala Harris out of her name, that is perpetuating a legacy of inequality and of white subordination uh, of black people. Oh, so you called me a racist. No, I didn't. So she's looking for some reason to try to exploit the situation. This is the text exchange Uh, I sent her, uh, Abby Phillip, the host of the show, suggested we take pictures. I said, let's take a picture. She said, Abby said, when you um, um, post it, then tag me too, and then um, we'll have fun. Because the whole point was two bipolar opposites, Michael Eric Dyson on one side, Nancy Mace on the other. So I sent her, and she said, great pick. Uh, And I said, shh. Don't tell anybody we look good together with a uh, laughing face 
uh, in a kissy face. And my point was, shh, don't tell anybody because we are bipolar opposites. You're on one side of the spectrum and I'm on the other side of the spectrum. And she said, ha, 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 ha. And I said, well, your gorgeousness makes the photo, so there's that. Uh, and I, a little smiley face. Again, I'm just saying that trying to be nice to her in the belief and the effort that if I'm nice to her and I prove that we don't have any bitter consequences from our fracas on television, that we can be relatively kind to each other and I'm being nice to her. There's no hitting on you. Your attempt is sad and sorry, but your bigoted racist attempt will not succeed. Ain't nobody trying to holler at you. And if you're that desperate that you need a black man to holler at you, I'm not the one to do it. There are plenty on your side. He's saying, hey, you're rejected by advances. How dare you? You're a racist. <laughs> That's what's happening. He's mad because she's saying, no, nope, nope. I don't want that. I don't want you. Again, he sent me a message, a text, with the picture of us together. And he message saying, we look good together. And you're gorgeous. That's inappropriate. I mean, it really is, man. Especially if you're married. And if she's married, definitely. And again, let's be honest. What you're trying to do is you're trying to tell her, you hey, look, I'm interested. I'm interested in you. Number one, I'm going to tell you, man. You don't have a snowball's chance in hell getting with that snow bunny. You don't. I'm sorry. And number, and number two, you're married. And she's married. And again, when it, when it comes back to you, like, oh, jeez, I look bad. You put it on her and say, racist, racism, what? And that's what the problem is right there. <laughs> that is what the issue is. And that's when people are starting to really get sick of this shit. Really get sick of this bullshit. That, you know what? If, if I'm rejected, or if, or if somebody doesn't want a, a person from Ecuador, Ecuador or where, wherever in the country, or Haiti, or wherever. It's because they're racist. No. Not one single bit. But again, you're going to keep pushing, what you're pushing, because you're a scared little fiddler. You're a scared little fiddler. You're scared your wife's going to beat that ass. <laughs> maybe, maybe your, maybe um, Nancy's husband going to beat that ass. Then you're going to say, why well, some privacy? Who can do that, ma'am? But you got the wrong brother in me. Again, vicious, misleading, lying, distorting, and trying to pretend as if somebody's trying to holler at you when that's the furthest thing from my mind. My mistake was being gracious to you of trying to say, oh, my God, we are opposites, but we can still be gracious to one another. I can still compliment you. I can still say nice things to you. There was no attempt to do anything but to be gracious to you. But you have proved to be what I said you weren't, a vicious white supremacist racist who is incapable of accepting the generosity and kindness of a black man. You are a sorry. Let me ask you a serious question. <laughs> is your kindness start with a P and end with an S? I think it does. I think it does. I guess you want to be, you want people to look at you as this noble, you know, person that's doing the right thing. This that gave her the benefit of the doubt. That's you know, that's just trying to contact her to to smooth things over. Well, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you're trying to be real smooth, but the fact of the matter is, you're not. You're not smooth at all. Again, you're awkward. You know damn well what I'm talking about, man. You're the same awkward that guys are when they're 15, 16, 17, 18. They're around a girl. A beautiful girl. They're awkward. They don't know how to present themselves. 
And you're the same way. You're like, well, well, she's racist. She's got to be a racist. Is being, I, I'm just being nice. And of course, you got to be the way because your wife's going to beat your ass or take your money or whatever. If you don't, so you better. You better say, you know what? I, what are you talking about, man? I wouldn't do nothing wrong. Not nothing. Yeah, you were. And you you were definitely doing that. You were definitely trying to hit on her. You were hollering at her. And she said no. And then she exposed you. Now you got to play damage control. And uh, you got to, you know, put everything on her. It's being a racist. Are you going to believe me? To call it the professor? The professor. Or are you going to believe this bitch? What are you going to do? This racist bitch. Yeah. So you're trying to, you're trying to, to play the ambush control because she exposed you. And again, man, you don't want your wife, you don't want your wife feeling weird, feeling bad, because again, you ain't getting them for a long time. And you want to lose mama. You don't want to lose your mama. And that's where your wife is, man. And you want to lose her. You're afraid. Because you're playing DM Patrol. That's what's happening. I think the majority of people that can see what you're doing if they're being honest. But hey, guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks. You son of a... You son of a... You son of a...